Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm the branch manager of the Carter County Public Library in Beaufort. And today I have a book review for you. So it's a little different than a book talk. I'm going to go a little bit in depth on this, but this book I, I was kind of divided on. So I, I thought, you know, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on it. It's called The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I... The reason that I'm so divided on this book is because I love horror movies. I've grown up watching horror movies. It's it's part of my thing. And, you know, it's, uh, who, I don't know, who doesn't love a good, a good scare every now and again? So, you know, things like Michael Myers and Jason and Freddy and, you know, Leatherface and all them. You know, I, I grew up on that. I love those. They're, they're some of my, my absolute favorites, especially Michael. So... When I'm reading the description of this book, and it's, you know, it, it sounds like it's about uh, this group of women who've all gone through certain things, you know, like maybe they were attacked at school or something, and they are now in this support group together trying to comfort each other and trying to get each other through the hard times and get each other through that trauma. Uh, and then they started being picked off, and you're like, okay, well... Hmm, you know, it sounds interesting, and it it is interesting. It is an interesting book. I think the descriptions of the trauma these women go through was done very well. Um, you know, it is a support group of women who are final girls. But the the reason that I'm I'm I had a little bit of trouble is because it it's like a fictionalized version of a fictionalized story from a fictionalized movie <laughs> so it's like the movies that I, that I named or, or the people that I named Michael Freddie Jason and all of them it's like if they were real but not themselves <laughs> so it's it's like um okay for example one of the women survived a night where she was a babysitter in a small town and on a Halloween night, a guy comes through and starts killing babysitters and going after babysitters, and, and she survives. Like, uh, does that sound familiar? Uh, one of them, she was in Texas and with a group of friends, and her group of friends are in a van together, and the van breaks down in an unfortunate area. And they start getting chased by this crazy man and his family. I mean, it's like, okay, very similar to the movies that we all know. So, I, I, I was a little taken aback because I just wasn't expecting that to be the final girl thing. I just really thought it was going to be something else. Like, you know... One day her family is attacked and she was the only one who survived and you know that trauma is is what she's getting through or or this other person was in a, a school shooting or something and was the only person to survive from her class or something. I don't know. But I think that's where my thing was is that I'm 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 so caught up in well that's supposed to be Michael, that's supposed to be Freddie, <laughs> that's supposed to be Jason, you know, that I'm like I'm uh it it, it mm. so I, I struggled with that. That is the biggest thing I struggled with. I think the book is really well written. I think the the character development is great in that, you know, you really can empathize with these women. You know, these women survive traumatic things and now what do they do? How did that shape their personality? And like the main character, Lynette, you know, is very closed off and is very um, scared to open herself up and she constantly is, she has a cage on the inside of her door so that she can trap somebody in there if she needs to because she's so worried about getting found and and somebody coming after her again and you know then they're they're talking about what does it mean to be a final girl what does a final girl even mean you know is it somebody who survives one time or is it somebody who continuously survives different things? Do the killers keep coming back? Because it does. It goes through that. Do they keep coming back? And what really, I think what really baked my noodle 
is the one that was supposed to be that sh Scream, the one that uh, survived Ghostface from Scream, or the version of Ghostface in here, which is not the real, you know what I mean. So, in the Scream films, after the first one, you find out that they made a movie within the movie called Stab that was based off of the events of the first Scream film. Well, in this, there's a movie called Stab that's based off of the events of the girl who's supposed to be like the Scream thing. So, it... I yeah, it was it was to me too many parallels. I didn't like it. I was so caught up in trying to figure out why these are the same people from or or supposed to be based off of the same people from real movies that it I don't know. I was taken out of the book a lot. And I think for me a good book is one that I can get into and stay into and not be drawn out and pondering, you know, real things, real things, I mean, it's a movie, but still, still, so I think, I think overall, I'm very divided on this book, because I think the writing is great, um, I think the character development is great, I think the descriptions are great, I just kept getting pulled out of it, because I'm so focused on the movies that these books, or that this book is referencing, that I'm so, now I'm trying to pick up on every single reference and go, oh, I know what that movie's from. I know what that movie's from. I know what that movie's from. So that would be why I'm divided on this book. I would recommend reading it because it is a good book. And just because I feel a certain type of way doesn't mean other people are going to feel a certain type of way. But that's just my opinion. I, I do recommend it. Uh, we've got copies at the branches. So... Give it a read and see what you think about it. Uh, again, Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. And uh, let us know. Let us know how you felt about it. Come in and talk to us. We love when somebody comes or when people come in and talk to us about the books. You know, lets us know how, how they feel about them. So thank you for watching and I hope you get a chance to read it.